someone once said that crepe cake doesn't look like this. How I reply is, I said, maybe if if you are willing to try my crepe cake, you know, just let me know when you're free, then I wanted to send over to you. Yeah. The lady, maybe she just like, oh, uh, no, I just don't like crepe cake. Yeah. <laughs> then I okay. Thank you for Thank you for your feedback. Kitty Kitya Ratana Jirasek. I'm the owner and the baker of Two Big Boys. We are located at um, City Hub 2, 114 Lavender Street. I'm her assistant. <laughs> My husband. I do everything else. <laughs> My name is Philip. <laughs> we are specialized in crepe cakes. So our best seller here is Thai tea crepe cake with Thai milk tea sauce. Our crepe cake. Um, recipe is special. The sauce will complement our crepe cake. You can try the crepe cake without the sauce first and then drizzle the sauce on top of the crepe cake. Because my dream is I wanted to have like 20 flavors. And he said, no, Kitty. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> because of my two boys, Carter and Kobe. Yeah. So I wanted to have them involved in this um, small tiny home based business and you can see like um, the gift card or how to enjoy our crepe cake two boys pictures inside so that is my boys yeah, <laughs> must inside. have them inside yeah. Yeah. if not they will be angry yeah, yeah. <laughs> we, we really don't have any uh, experience in running business uh, 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 baking so everything is really people coming up on board and assist us and social media especially our customers are all mainly on social media if you ask me not having uh, baking experience actually it help us because we are not confined to no 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 you can only do this 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 measurement must be uh, we 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 yeah we are very open one cake it takes about six hours we cannot make it faster right i mean six hours to fry finish and then assemble the crepe and then i must let the crepe cake set in the fridge another overnight because I cannot cut it right away after I assemble the crepe cake yeah. yeah I enjoy doing it yeah so if I enjoy doing then I will really keep doing it originally our kitchen like um, is not aircon so I woke up at 2 a.m. just to assemble the crepe cake you know the place is cooler it's not so hot so my crepe cake doesn't melt and he asked me to stop and I said well at night is the most relaxing time yeah. <laughs> Kitty found her passion for baking later on <laughs> in life and because of COVID. So she didn't even know that she has a passion for it. <laughs> we are both in the aviation industry for like 10, 11 years. Uh, when COVID happened, so that's when we had a loss of income of uh, 60, 70 percent. We decided that uh, we need to do something. La. I, I remember my, my feeling like when I touched down from one of the long haul flights and I checked my schedule, all flights are cancelled. I remember I walked out the aisle, you know, like feel like a floating, like don't know what to do. Yeah. That whole month of hope, one month already taught me that I cannot wait. Apparently, our house got no oven, and I know how to do Thai tea crepe cake long time ago already. Yeah, so we just we we tried out at home as a one of the activity for with the kids ended up the kids finished the crepe cake and the sauce actually my son they, they don't they don't eat the dessert but mm. uh, they enjoyed this Thai tea crepe cake and then um, there wasn't any leftovers mm, okay. so we decided hey uh, maybe let's try and uh, innovate and try to see whether this this might be a sideline like a side income for us the time at that moment that that period of time we really? took it as like an interest like we don't have any idea that we want to really make it into a business we just want to hear what people think about our our crepe cakes customers who, who started the journey with us give us the constructive feedback we came up with a better product they they like it even more and then they start to recommend to their friends their families mm. and then i start to see that they post pictures of them eating together as one family the grandparents grandparents and until the grandchildren, grandchildren. Yeah. 
Yeah, so it's like very rewarding for us. It's like wow, we we want we really wanted to create a product for the yeah. whole family, and when we saw that, yeah. wow, Craig. yeah, the yeah. the hard work is worth it. Yeah. <laughs> right now, the biggest challenge is trying to accommodate customers who, who, who really want to try our cakes. But because of our limited productivity, we we, we can't we can't make uh, more than 20, 30 orders a day. We use a lot of skills that we've learned, especially when um, we've moved to operate at the shops. So I imitate this small little kitchen as a air, as a aircraft galley. Yeah. Aircraft galley. Yeah. <laughs> like the workflow, the service, SOP and everything, I try to imitate from, from what I have learned and from my previous experience also. And also how to uh, handle uh, customers' expectations. So when it comes to our, our business here, we want to present to you uh, a cake that that not only you will like, like something that you will see how much effort that we put in. And if you have anything that, that doesn't meet your expectations, we will make it right for you. Actually, the elder one already said, Mommy, when I grow up, I will help you to make more great cake. <laughs> <laughs> now, they're at the age of playing pretend. They pretend to be a customer buying crepe cake. It means something to them as well. So I feel like to make voice is um, very important for us and for our family also, yeah. Would you all want to go back to your life before COVID? <laughs> <laughs> oh, life before COVID. Flying days, huh? I, I would say no, Yuka. I never regret until now. To me, I'm moving forward already. There's, there's no point for me to look back. We can't wait for for flight to come back, or we can't wait for border to open. Uh, this one year, it just taught us that what we have before is not going to be what we have in future. And it's not that what we have before is the best, and it's the only thing that we have. Yeah. Then we realized that, yeah, it's not about what we have, you know what we have gone mm. through, whether yeah. we want to go back to that life. It's about now. He keeps saying, you're good at what you're doing, keep doing it, don't give up. I'm I think, unlucky. I think and he understands me more than myself. <laughs> so that's why I say crepe cake is like an art, you know, it's handcrafted, it's like an art. Yeah. It's not only like a um, procedure that you have to do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So you're creating something for people to enjoy and to talk about. Yeah. As, I can, as you can see that I named this after our two boys and my voice is everything so to make voice is everything to me so i will try my best to 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 grow together with the two big boys yeah i think the whole family uh, strengthen the whole family uh. yeah. yeah not only us the whole family yeah. like uh, her, showing her emotions showing my emotions we we, we connected in, the, in another level <laughs> yeah. uh, thank you for being with me and yeah. being my good like husband and then good dad, superhero dad. Yeah. And every day that I say I meant it, I love you so much. Wow. <laughs> How to beat that now? <laughs> <laughs> For me I think I just want to say that uh, you are the strongest woman that I know. Uh, it's not easy to you know juggle two big boys mm. and two boys. <laughs> And me. <laughs> Boys. Yeah. So I think I think you are handling it amazingly lah. Uh, thank you for for for, for being my life. <laughs> thank you.